Hey, what is up guys? It is me, Flavio here, back with another Mafia City video. In this video, I'm going to be answering one of the questions that I get asked the most, and that is whether or not there's a pattern or sequence to the Babe game. The short answer to that question is no. There is no pattern or sequence to it, and in this video, I'm going to be explaining why I think that is the case. So recently, I was trying very hard to find some kind of pattern for the Babe game. I would recorded the result of over 600 games in an Excel sheet and noticed that I had an accuracy of around 53%. So obviously I thought I was doing something right since normally you'd expect the accuracy to be somewhere close to 33% since there are 3 cups. However, since I couldn't find a pattern, I finally gave up and decided to pick only 1 cup every time to see what happens. I started with the middle cup and recorded 50 results. Three of the games out of those 50, I picked the left cup because I wasn't able to pick the middle one. And I ended up getting 27 correct guesses out of 50, which is a 54% accuracy rate. Then I did the same for the left cup where I chose the middle cup three times since I couldn't choose the left one, and I got 26 correct guesses out of 50, which is a 52% accuracy rate. And finally, I did the same for the right cup where I was forced to pick the left cup seven times because it was impossible to pick the right one and I got 24 out of 50 right, which is a 48% accuracy rate. Now obviously this does not make sense since the 3 cups cannot have an accuracy of over 33% each, and 48 to 54% is way beyond 33%. So it was pretty clear at this point that there was no sequence or pattern to the babe game. You can try out this experiment yourself if you want, just make sure you try each cup 50 or more times as it might not give you accurate results with fewer tries. The Babe game is kind of like the Lucky Poker where the outcome depends on the cards you are dealt and not on the order in which you flip them. In the Babe game, the outcome is decided before you even pick a cup, so it doesn't really matter whether you play this game manually or if you do it on auto. Finally, I decided to max out Ginger from scratch picking only the left cup and the middle cup whenever left was not an option, and I ended up maxing her out after 907 games or 2721 roses. My accuracy was 54.36%, and my highest streak was 6 correct guesses in a row, which I got twice. I'll leave a link to the Excel sheet in the description below. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Let me know if you guys still think that there is a pattern in the comments below. Before I end this video, I'd like to thank all of my patrons for the support. If you want to support me, there's a link to my Patreon in the description below. So that's all I have for you guys in this video. I hope you guys found the video helpful. Thanks for watching the video guys, and I will see y'all in the next one.